It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Baltimore Ravens. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Autumn has arrived in the Mid-Atlantic region of the U.S. And it is a glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. It's the Battle of the Beltway. Baltimore and Washington are underway. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete in the quarterback position featured with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. He'll get this up to the 34 and a good lane opening up right away for him. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year, and part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think but, you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right, because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Off the play fake, Daniels. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. It hasn't been a real good start to this game from a defensive perspective, but now after the incompletion on second down, things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Looking for McClellan, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Commanders are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Cyber now to kick it off. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here's the first drive for the Ravens. And at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. In motion, Aguilar. To throw is Jackson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here. Brought down on the play by Trenton Simpson. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From the 22, here's second and eight. Robinson with another carry. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run, not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside.
The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Robinson will try to pick it up. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Deontay Hardy back deep. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Jackson from the shotgun. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Furl, that got in there to bring him down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, Took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So he's seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter. Here's another good example. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Here's Jackson to throw. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 22-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Flowers does a really good job there picking up a new set of downs. And he continues to build off his impressive rookie campaign. And saw him record over 850 yards on the year. His competitiveness 
allows him to make a lot of what we call combat catches, taking balls away from defenders. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped at the one. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Ravens are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Robinson up the middle. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Well, they go play action. Daniels. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. 46 yards. And Washington has taken the lead. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Cybered on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A drive there of just four plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Throw 
going is Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Off the option, here's Henry. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Now it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 21, here's a second down and four. Now it's Jackson. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now it's third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Here's Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. Down inside the 10. And all the way down to the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. you got to make it pay off with 6. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Jackson now. The quick slant caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had... And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Ravens are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away.
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And the Washington offense heading out. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down the field, aren't you? I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh-huh. That's the excuse that you always use for something like that. Listen, I appreciate good offensive football as much as the next person. When it's played well and is skillful, I'm with it. And right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. Now a second and ten. Now Daniels. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Daniels looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. to the air goes Daniels now throw right side here going to be incomplete now we get a stoppage because as you can see a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look and we will take a short break Here's second and ten. Now it's the backup, Mariota. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 36. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Now we got whistles before the snap. Looked like one of the commanders jumped. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. To the air again. Mariota. Open man is Noah Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. He'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Again, it's Robinson. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Mariota. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Well, field goal gets you the lead, and they're in range, but they're not looking to settle for three. They're thinking six. That's a nice throw there on third down to keep the chains moving.
They'll run with Robinson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. As long as you've been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Robinson again. But he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Third and goal, Mariota. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Seibert able to knock this one through. And they take a 17-14 lead. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Ravens offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. To throw is Jackson. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. In motion, Aguilar. Jackson. It's caught by Aguilar. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Again, Jackson. Throw right side. Going to be taken in by Henry. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Play action. It's Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They go play action with Jackson. This will go to Henry out wide. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. I know it was a gain, 
but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A well, first down there on a pickup of 25. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. In motion left, Bateman. They go play action now. Jackson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw again is Jackson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead he sets his guys up in excellent shape with a first and goal. Henry. Is going backwards here. Now they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Now Jackson. And he's got it. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. This Washington defense, they've stood tall the first two plays. Now third and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Mariota now. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think there he had to come off of his primary receiver in a big way, just trying to get it to a secondary guy. Unable to get that play completed. Checked down, but didn't even have enough time to do that. Incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Throwing is Mariota. That's to McCaffrey. Complete. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. 
And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Here is third and five. To throw is Mariota. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. They had points on their first two possessions, a touchdown and a field goal, but this time, defense stands strong. Would you say that things maybe are trending now in the right direction for them? Better than drives one and two. There's no doubt about it. Now maybe they can exhale a little bit, gather themselves, and really get back into this game. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The first half belonged to the reigning NFL most valuable player, number eight, Lamar Jackson. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. A short throw caught by Andrews. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. And the tight end goes in motion left. Jackson from the shotgun. And he'll go right back to Andrews. Will go down as a gain of six. And they're going to face a third down. They went to their big body tight end on second down in hopes that he could plow his way to a first down. But they were ready for him defensively and ended up holding him to a modest gain. Play action. Now Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Inside handoff, Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still... Gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? The ball on the 32. It's second and two.
Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. From the gun, Jackson over the middle, and it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. In motion right is Aguilar. Here's Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Jackson will throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And out of bounds all the way down the three these two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first and in a lot of ways that catch is expected red zone presence and that one was realized there you've got to find your tight end in that situation Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the two now, second and goal. Gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Henry. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Flushed out right. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football. That his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talents. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense. But maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown.
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small... Now a loose football. The ball comes out and it's picked up by the Ravens. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So it's a turnover there on the lost fumble, and this third quarter could not really have started worse. I think that's a great observation because this was a close game at the half. They gave up the touchdown the opening drive. Now they turn over the football. This game, it can get away from them pretty quickly if their defense doesn't step up right here. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that, and what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions, and then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoor them, and that time worked well for a solid game. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards and a first. And, Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. In motion right is Aguilar. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing out left and finding likely. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Isaiah Likely, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are able to add on to that lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Tucker now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. The Washington offense set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. 66 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Okay, let's do our version of name dropping here. Let's show off a little knowledge, right? The A-gap, the gap between the center and the guard on either side, right? Both sides. Control that. You're going to control an inside running game. And he had to feel satisfied because he hit that gap. Touchdown, Washington! Olamide Zacchaeus, 37 yards. And the commanders get a bit closer. And that is the definition of yards after catch. They go short on the pass, and the receiver does the rest. 
Seems so harmless, doesn't it? To throw it underneath, short pass like that. But boy, it gets dangerous in the hands of the right receiver as he makes a move and takes it the distance. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. The short one there caught by Likely. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. They're looking deep here for Flowers. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. In motion left, Bateman. Now it's Jackson. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense back out there. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. We're in Baltimore, third quarter action, second and 10. Mariota. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Mariota from the gun on third down. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play.
Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, able to avoid him. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Here's Jackson to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Bobby Wagner multiple times at all pro in there to drop him for a loss. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there, and he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? They need 12 here. It's third down. Jackson. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr., a third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. The Ravens send their putter out now as he's on here to putt it away. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Back now in Baltimore. It's the commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here's second and five now from the 37. Now Mariota, he's going to sling this deep downfield. Touchdown, Olamide Zacchaeus. 
His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? <laughs> you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Mariota looked to throw. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Jackson to Bateman there, first down Ravens. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Now it's Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Henry out of the pistol and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here? And what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. The commander's offense and running back Brian Robinson getting set for this next drive. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Off the edge and right to the ball that time was Kyle Van Noy. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Daniels looking to throw. 
his throw is going to be incomplete. But well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The offense on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Here's Daniels. Flush to his right. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Kyle Van Noy picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. They begin with Henry, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see, and that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. They go play action now. Jackson, a short one there, caught by Likely. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring us to a third and four. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here is third down and four. Throwing is Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. Well, partner, they've used him quite well out of the backfield in this one. And here's another nice example. They set up the screen, and he's able to pick his way downfield for a nice game there. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. A first down carry for Henry. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's gonna be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Aguilar in motion left. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And that flag accepted. So after the penalty, they're back to where they started, third and 10. Jackson now. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here.
Tucker's kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. To the air goes Daniels. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw is Daniels. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Now Daniels. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll try again here, second and ten. He'll look to throw. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. He's back to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they decline the hold, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. Daniel's going to throw for it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Back to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Multiple.
multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr., a 20-yard touchdown. And the Commanders are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Cybert on for the PAT. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And Brian Robinson finished things off with a touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. Jackson. And this is in the hands of Andrews downfield. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Jackson, options out left. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. They'll come up now on second down. Henry up the middle. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Tucker's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now Washington... Down by two, 34 seconds to go. 
And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. Complete to Zacchaeus. And he's brought down, but great yardage to start the drive. A first down, and it sets him up pretty nicely here moving forward. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, and that is incomplete. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip. Try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.